911. What's your emergency? My name is Natalie Harris, and there's a bomb strapped to my chest. Okay, Natalie, I need you to stay calm. Do you know your location? Yes, I'm in my basement. They said the bomb is motion sensitive. If I move too much, it will explode. Okay, stay as still as you can. Help is on the way. Can you tell me what happened? I was attacked by a group of men. They knocked on the door, forced their way in, and then strapped this bomb on me. They said if I tried to remove it or move too much, it would detonate. Natalie, do you know who these men were or why they did this? They didn't give me their names. They just said I had to do this or they'd kill my family. Is there anyone else in the house with you? No, I'm alone. All right, officers are arriving at your location now. Stay on the line with me. Natalie Harris? This is Officer Reeds. We're here to help. Yes, yes. I'm here. I'm down here. Please, be careful. Everyone, stay back. Officer Reeds commanded. Natalie, we're going to get you out of this safely. Can you hear me? Yes. Stay very still. The bomb squad is here and coming down to assess the situation. The bomb squad moved in, their equipment clinking as they approached Natalie, tension thickening. Natalie, my name is Sergeant Baylor. I'm with the bomb squad. I need you to stay very still while I take a closer look at the device, okay? Okay. All right, I see the mechanism. It's a complex setup, but I think we can disarm it. Natalie nodded, sweat dripping down her face. The room was silent except for the soft clicking of tools as the bomb squad worked. Hmm, only 16, said Natalie, flatly. Sergeant Baylor looked up, confused. What? 16, she met his gaze, her voice surprisingly calm. There are 16 of you. He stopped and looked around the room, confused, and before he could ask anything else, she spoke again. You know, she said softly, I've always wondered how it would feel to be in full control to be the one holding the detonator. The realization hit Sergeant Baylor too late. The bomb detonated with a deafening roar. The force of the explosion rippled throughout the basement, throwing debris and body parts in all directions. There were no survivors. In one week, 36 similar calls were placed, and 36 bombs were detonated. The investigation continues.